All right, come here, you beautiful bundle of feathered goodness. Let's put the new chicken in here. And he should hop out in just a second and start wandering around. Huzzah! All right. You shall be named Chicken. It took me a long time to come up with that name, you guys. I had to think about it for, for, for quite some time. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to move our crops back up outside on the roof. Uh, we're going to butcher our level 10 chicken and get all the goodies from, from him, her, um, and replace that chicken uh, in the opposite order of that. I don't want to butcher the existing chicken until we have a new one so we can keep those eggs coming. Uh, and I mentioned this, I think, in the last episode, too. Uh, once you set that thing to free range, man, the eggs come a lot faster uh, than they do without it. Um, so that's very cool. Um, so we've been able to make, you know, steak and eggs for food and that sort of thing. And um, we have two lockpicks in our possession. So we're going to go out and uh, look for more locked crates as usual uh, as we look for that chicken. And, yeah, so um, I had... Uh, I, I nabbed one or two locked crates off camera and had a couple of uh, hunter fights. Um, here is the footage from all of that. Okay, so um, let's see here. Where's the sun? Okay, it's about noonish, so we got a, we got the afternoon. Uh, we we need to get uh, some carbs going here. I just harvested some more uh, tomatoes. Uh, I do want to get the the frying or the boiling pan made soon, but six metal ingots. The rest of this is not a big deal, uh, but the six metal ingots are kind of expensive. Um, we need to start thinking about um, attacking our neighbors again too. Uh, so that is definitely on the to do list. Okay, so let's um, let's work on some more copper for you. Uh, I'm just making it, uh, some more boards here. Uh, we have 133 boards and 130 woods. Uh, 85 nails, so we're low on nails, but we're not desperately low on nails. And then uh, my ammo situation is actually not too bad, um, you know, from the lock crates and stuff that we've been able to get whilst we're out and about. So I was going to do something. Uh, can't remember what it was now. Uh, so let's top off you, and we'll throw those there, and I think we're good to go. So we're pretty good on food, water, carbs. Let's do one more, say, carrot, and head on out. So yeah, we're looking for a, a new chicken. We're looking for locked crates, and we are... Yeah, those two things. <laughs> those are our objectives. Those are our objectives. Okay. It's sometimes it's hard to get off this island when I'm ready to go because I find more loot to get, you know, uh, case in point. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. We got some crap weather, but uh yeah, so this this setup and it's it's working out so good as you saw in the in my little clip there. Um you know, the hunters get stuck underneath there and then they just kind of derp. They don't even turn around and try and defend themselves when I attack them and so 
<laughs> it works out pretty good. Uh, I like it. I like it. Um, as soon as we can, you know, start getting a, a little bit better supply of nails built up, uh, we'll we'll do some more base expansion. That that's just going to be an ongoing thing throughout this whole series. You know, we 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 do some building on the base till our materials run low. Then we go out get more materials, do other stuff. A few episodes later, we do some more building on the base, um, and you know, wash, rinse, repeat. So. Uh, I'd like, you know, it's just, like I said, it's going to be an ongoing process for a long time. And my focus is more on uh, defense, defenses first, than it is on, you know, um, aesthetics and that sort of thing. But the aesthetics and the design and all that kind of cool stuff is on the list for sure to do. Let's grab this here. Uh, so we, I was attacked twice by two separate groups of hunters, so there's still a, a third hunter group that has not attacked us recently, so that could happen while we're away. And hopefully if it does, you know, we can luck out and uh, they'll get stuck again. How are we doing on shotgun shells? We're doing pretty good. We're sort of kind of low on arrows, and we need to save those uh, for chickens. Ah, crap. I should, I should crouch down, um, you know, because sometimes you shoot over the top of them if you don't. Normally I do, but I just didn't do it that time, and we got bit. Okay, let's grab this. Wash the mitts and keep on keeping on. So we'll head up to the arch and then, you know, maybe down into the, to the valley, um, looking for the lock crates until we get ourselves a live chicken. Once we get a live chicken, then all bets are off and we go back to the base and replace it with our fully grown chicken and get all the goodness from that and then you know start raising a new chicken and eventually like i've mentioned uh we are going to do the upgrade so we can add more oh he's live okay all bets are off <laughs> okay so let's take him back except for we're going to check this crate and pick that carrot because they're right here Nice, look at those nails. 14 nails, I'll take it. Okay, let's go back and um, swap out our chickens. All right, come here, you beautiful bundle of feathered goodness. Let's put the new chicken in here, and he should hop out in just a second and start wandering around. Huzzah! All right. You shall be named Chicken. Uh, it took me a long time to come up with that name, you guys. I had to think about it for, for, for quite some time. All right. If you've never seen a level 10 chicken, it's goodness. Check this out. Boom. We get a whole chicken. We get a whole bunch of fat. We get seven pristine feathers or premium feathers and six normal feathers. That is some good stuff, man. Okay, so let's put this in here. We will save this until we get the baking pan. Um, and uh, here, let's put this up here at the top. All of our really, really, really good stuff is at the top there. And uh, we'll put that next. Uh, oh, yeah, we got that off the wolf. I'm going, how do we get red meat off chicken? How does that compute? Um, so what does it take to make the, the good arrows? It's... Uh, Ah, uh, it takes crystal. Okay, yeah, so we won't be able to do anything with these premium feathers until we go down to the cave and start getting crystals, which is on the list, uh, to the to-do list. Okay, let's put all this stuff down here. We are now up to 99 nails. I'm liking it. I am liking it. Okay, we need a little bit of protein, so let's chow down on one of these. And, um... Let's see... Yeah, let's, let's go back out and at least see if we can get to the arch. For a locked crate before it gets too much later and then we'll come back um, and move we're gonna move the crop plots to the roof of the base uh, but I want to take advantage of the daylight while we still have some daylight we might as well stop off and hit the grub tree here got a pig down there I'm keeping my eyes peeled for a beehive too because we can get some honey then we can make the honey glazed ham which is 
not not the highest end food, but it's it's the higher higher middle grade food. We'll say it's pretty good stuff. Um, and I also uh, need to any rabbits or chickens that we get. I'm just gonna let the meat spoil because I need some spoiled meat to uh, to make the insect repellent in order to you know then get the honey. Oh ho! Look what we got! Look what we got! Hallelujah! 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 Okay. Nice, nice, nice. We got some more uh, alloy sheets and some more cotton seeds. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Not the best lock crate ever, but not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, cool. So we found our locked crate. Um, Whilst we're out and about, let's see, where's the sun? Yeah, it's getting close to over the hill. Uh... If we... I don't think we really have time to run all the way to the center. I mean, we could run all the way to Central Valley. But we'd be coming back in the dark is the only thing. Not that that's a big deal because we do it all the time anyway. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. we got some scrap metal over here. I'd like to just loot some normal crates too. Nails in particular. Not that I, I'm saying I don't want locked crates, because we want those too. We got another lock pick on us. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it is my intention to carry two lock picks from now on. And maybe even later on down the road, three, if we really have the uh, wherewithal to afford that, you know? Um, oh, okay, there is a chicken. Let's nail that chicken for both the feathers and the meat for spoilage purposes. How many arrows do I have? Four. See, I've been real kind of stingy with my air with making arrows because you need nails for that, right? And we've been a little bit low on nails lately. All right, where'd that chicken go? There he is. Oh no, that's a bunny. We'll get him too. That means a piece of cloth for us. Okay, let's butcher him now. Uh, we got a level one wolf. All right, dispatched him. Yeah, you know what? I think I think we better head back because, especially now, because by the time we get out there, it's gonna be. Uh, dark. We're not going to be able to see much. And then I'm going to have to turn around and come back home anyways. There's a deer. But we're doing... I got a pretty nice collection of antlers. And we have a pretty nice pile of adhesives too. That You know, you just get quite a bit of adhesive just from the locked crates. So yeah, let's head back home. And uh, start... And get our crop plots moved outside. Because it's springtime now. And then we'll figure out... Uh, what our next move is after that. Level 3 pig. Should we kill a level 3 pig? Okay. Four pieces of fat. I think we should get more more pork chops from especially from a level three pig. I mean that's a he's more dangerous than a wolf well, he's more dangerous than a wolf if he's attacking you. Because he can break your leg where wolves whereas wolves can't. I don't know. I just I don't think they give us enough for how dangerous they are. That's my own personal opinion. You may not agree with me. Cold Games may not agree with me. Not that Cold Games watches my videos, I doubt he does, but you never know. It's just, uh, you know, give us two pork chops. Come on, man. At least for a level three. Maybe not on a level two or a level one, but for a level three pig, we should be getting two pork chops. That's what I'm saying. Okay, anyway. Um, that's nothing up there. There was a bear over here. Yeah, there he is up there. Okay, he's far enough away. You don't got to worry about him. Here we had another chicken here. Very good. We are going to have to 
um, succumb and make some probably make some more arrows sacrifice a few nails for the arrow cause I wonder if Bravo has their diving station set up I'll bet you they do by now we should go raid them tomorrow and then uh, make ourselves some diving gear with their uh, with their equipment, uh, power, and mass. Bravo is very useful for that kind of thing. Alpha doesn't have a workbench, so can't really do much with them other than take their stuff. How are you doing? Uh, we need to get you some food, don't we? Okay, here let's um let's give you some water. And we'll throw a couple tomatoes or something in for our chicken. All right, let's turn the light on so we can all see. I don't actually turn that light on when I'm off camera because I can see well enough to do what I need to do to save power. But when we're recording, you guys need to see what I'm doing. Uh, so we'll put that in there, that in there, that in there. I think that's all we got to put in there. Stick that in there. Let's... um. Let's use a, a fuel log. And actually, I'm going to wait just a little bit longer before we put that in there. Okay. Wow, we didn't get any any iron while we were out. That kind of sucks. Uh, we can do another upgrade with this, which we will do. We'll put all of this away. That can go in there. That can go in there. Okay. So, I think that doesn't do a whole lot, does it? <laughs> okay, so uh, we want to move these crop plots back up onto the roof. The thing is, is when I had the stairs out here, the stairs kept getting damaged. Of course, maybe not so much now that we got our walls up. Yeah, okay, let's just keep, let's just stick with that. Uh, again, this is all temporary. This is not by any stretch of the imagination the final design of this base. Um, so right now we're doing function over form, but we will eventually do some nice form stuff too. I think we want this ladder here. Okay. Whilst we're waiting for that, let's grab the hammer. And come down here and I think the next thing I want to upgrade to I wish we could upgrade the doors to armor um, is this nobody's coming in are they okay, let's go here and we'll upgrade these this little stairwell okay and that gives us two more so we'll just have to hang on to those because I don't think there's anything that we, nothing that we currently have up can upgrade with two. We'll stick these back in here for now. Put the hammer there, put this down here. Okay. And I'm... Hmm, but I just see some, I did see some flashing, but it's on the shore. Okay, yeah, I don't think anybody's coming after us right now. So let's turn this this way. There we go. And now we can put our crop lots up there. Hopefully I can take it all the way over there. Yep, we got this. All right, we're going to put these all the way on the far end of the building so they have the least amount of chance of taking any damage. Uh, I think that's pretty straight there. Okay. I'm going to leave that light on all the time for that, that one, but this one we won't until, at least until we get a light going for it. 
Um, and that way, that other one will continue to grow, you know, even in the evening. Okay, and we'll put this one right about here. Okay, cool. All right, so we got that done. Uh, we need to get some water and, and fertilizer in you. Let's jump down here. Um, water here, and let's grab all of that and some of this. You're working on copper, right? Yeah. Nobody coming? Ninety. And then probably two of you and one of you. There we go. All right. Crops are in great shape. We're doing good. We're looking good. We'll, we'll get, you know, a little faster growth out of the, the second one now because of the fact that it's going to get better light up on the roof than it did during the winter in the base. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> uh, I didn't even notice that. Okay, that's not good. We can't, we can't have that. We can't have that. All right, let's try this again. Can I... Here, let's put it somewhere... Oh. Do that again. Do that again. All right, come down here. What the heck? Come on, man. Oh! Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Upsy daisy. Uh, there. Weird, man. Okay, now let's pick it up again. And we want to turn it this way. But we, we don't want it. I don't think that one's in the wall. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. All right. All righty. So we got that done. Uh, what is uh, what are we, what's next on the agenda for stuff to build? Uh, we need some stuff. I I, I want to start thinking about solar panels and that sort of thing. Um, but I think what we're gonna actually do next is we're gonna raid Bravo. Can I make? I need 55 gunpowder. Nope, I don't have enough gunpowder to make one of those. We do have one. Oh. Yeah, we do have one, though. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and and raid Bravo. Let's get it done. So, I'm going to put all this stuff back in here. There we go. Let's fill that up. we got to get some water going. Oh, we need to feed the chicken too, don't we? Forgot about that. Let's grab some of these. Okay, good good on water. Um I don't want to necessarily give all of these to the chicken. Let's see how much does two two do? Forty one. Okay, let's do two more. That gets up to seventy eight. Yeah, that, that should be good. That should be good. Plus, the tomatoes gave them a little bit of water, too. Put these on a fire. Okay, we need to eat ourselves. So let's eat both of those livers, and that should get our protein in line and let's throw back a couple tomatoes and maybe a couple of carrots where does that put us and maybe a blueberry fantastic all right now uh we need to make another we're gonna need to make a, uh, another well actually we probably need to make about two more picks because this one's already just about broken uh board scrap and twine or cordage rather 
we'll make two of those. Why don't we just go ahead and recycle that right now. Put those back in there. Uh, let's not take our lockpick with us over to Raid Bravo. But we are going to want all of this ammunition just because uh, we're going to have to kill all of them. All right, how's our... Okay, we're doing good on that. Let's make another, maybe two more health kits. Uh, wait, what else do I need for that? Oh, yeah, right. We'll make a couple more of those, too. Let's fill you all the way back up. You're working on copper. That's fine. Put that back in there. That back in there. Okay, good. Um, so I think we are about ready to go. Let's let's just drink all of those. Fill those back up. Put them back on a fire, and then we're heading over there. We're attacking Bravo, baby. And if they have their diving station up, then we will see what we can do about getting started with some diving gear. Okay. Let's do this. Nobody's coming towards us. Okay, let's go up and around and kind of along the fence. There's a wolf down there, and I don't want to waste ammo on predators right now. Because we need it for the fight. That's a chicken. All right. So, let's see. The way we're going to play this is, let's get this ready to go. We know where their claymore is. It's on the other side of the house, up the hill just a little ways, in a place where we don't have to, we have no reason to go to. So we're just going to leave it where it is because we know where it's at. How, how is he on the other side of the fence? Look at that. What in the world? Can he can he shoot through the fence? Oh man, that sucks because well, unless he can't shoot through the fence because we can't load him. Weird, man. I've never seen that before. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to run in down here, get behind this rock so we have a little bit of cover. Hope that wolf doesn't come over this way. Okay, we've got to watch out for the guy shooting from up above. Okay, someone just came out the door. Or no, they opened their windows up above. Where's that guy that was over? Oh, he's still over there. Can he shoot at us? Let's just see if he takes a shot at us. Oh, man, he's... Yeah, he's... I think he's bugged out. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to waste ammo on him because I can't loot him. There's no reason to. As long as he can't hurt us, right? It doesn't appear like he can. All right, so we're going to have some dudes up above. The thing is, though, is I can't shoot through their glass. Okay, let's do this. Let's quickly run up here. Get underneath. So I'm going to say all their, uh, all their other dudes... Okay, he's shooting at us, but is it hitting us? Oh, 
I'm like so thrown off by this because it's so unusual. Where's that coming from? Yeah, he can't shoot through the fence. Look at that. Too bad for you, buddy. <laughs> okay, so I don't think we need to worry about him, but we do need to worry about the guy's inside. So let's do this. Let's get over here and up here. Make sure there's n there's the claymore right there. Let's make sure there's nobody else around. And then what we're going to do is this. Okay. I got their door softened up. The thing is, is once we break this door down, we're going to have one heck of a firefight on inside. But you know what? It's just the way it goes. Okay, he can't hurt us. So let's start breaking down the door. Okay. It's just about time here. And here we go. Boys. Okay. Are there any more up here? No, I think I think the footsteps that we're hearing is the guy across the fence. Okay, nice. Let's get some, uh, get the stuff from these guys and get the good stuff. All right, so we got shotgun shells, a whole mess of gunpowder, and a claymore. Ah, it's too bad they didn't have another grenade though, but that's all right. We can probably we can put that claymore to use, I think. So yeah, that, that kind of sucks actually. <laughs> Not that good of a of a crate. Ah, crap. Okay, well you know it is what it is. Uh, all right, now, do you guys have your diving gear up? You do, you do. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, um, oh, and guess what? We have two. Oh, we don't have five padded cloth, though. Oh, man. Okay. Um, and it's going to take 120 mass also. So we're going to need to save up five padded cloth, two of those and three of those to make this. Um, this is, that's, that's easy to make. Okay, well, at least they have it. So what we're going to do is, you know, take advantage of that. And, um, you know, w when we come and raid them, we will steal um, or use their equipment to make our diving gear. That's what we do. What we're going to do. Oh, look, we got another plate. Oh, okay, cool. So they got 1,000 power and 100 mass. Oh, can we make a, a grenade? We can. We just need 10 iron fragments. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else we might make instead. Ingots would also need 10 iron fragments. I think I'd rather have a grenade. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to run back to our base and get 10 iron fragments. Hopefully I have 10 iron fragments. And come back and make at least make a grenade. And we're going to leave that right where it is. Where's our... Here he is. Hey, bud. What's going on, man? <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Oh, yeah, let's grab this, too, whilst we're at it. I wouldn't mind uh, snagging. Some iron, too. Oh, there's some iron up there. Okay, good. No, that's not iron. That's potassium. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Got 
Mr. Wolf down there. We don't really give a crap about him. Let's go see. Is there any iron over on this rock outcropping here? No, we got a bear down there, so let's steer clear of him. Okay, well, I'm not sure if I have 10 iron fragments back at the base or not, but uh, we're going to go find out. I'm getting sidetracked. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we almost got him. We almost got him. I wasn't expecting him to stop and do the little ziggy zaggy thing. Oh, shit. Okay, go this way. Them dad blame chickens, man. That's what they'll do. They'll run you right into a bear. Oh, yes. We have tin iron. Okay. Um, so what do we need to take back with us? Iron, copper, and we already have the gunpowder. Okay. Okay. What? Wait a minute, what? Oh, that is... That's total hacks. That's total hacks. I wonder if the game put the door back because that hunter's still alive. So he fixed it. Oh, man, that sucks. That really sucks. Oh, all right. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do about it. Like I said, I've never been in this situation before. I've always just you killed all the hunters when I've attacked their base. We kind of got ripped off there a little bit, though. Not going to lie. That was a, it's kind of a ripoff, but whatever. Okay. Well, I guess that is uh, about it for today's episode. It was a good episode, though. We made some good progress. Got a couple things done around the base. Rated Bravo. We didn't get very good loot from them, though, overall. It was okay, but I wasn't uh, overjoyed with it, we'll say. But it was all right. And, uh, yeah, so, guys, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. And then I'm going to, you know, spend more time looting this stuff off camera. And then I'll bring you back at some point in the near future when it makes sense to do so and we will continue on here in subsistence thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye